Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Shapeshifters team number two is here today. And along with it, we have the biggest swaps program rumored to be dropping today that we have ever seen. 50 tokens to collect. Yes, you heard me correctly. 50 tokens. So we're going to talk about all of that and what to expect on a pretty big Friday. I know that it's late June. I know that this game is in like the downward slope towards the end, right? But the content has been insane and EA has given us some really cracked cards and we're finally getting another special Chelsea player today. I want to take a look at all of that in today's video and of course talk about the market because we have a lot of aspects that could be moving today with the shapeshifters going out of packs team number one and also the return the re-up or the refresh of an SBC, the 93 plus tots SBC. we're going to be able to do this one again today on friday as a part of our content so that's pretty dope we'll talk about how that could impact the market as well so if you're excited for team two today and swaps hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new let's start off by looking at the team of players that we're expecting today and this is the full leaked Team. Now, this might also include some of the mini release cards, so we might not see every single one of these cards today. But official team, official stats, official positions striker Sergio Ramos, right forward team of Werner. That's the Chelsea card we're ex excited about. Um, again, we hope for a lot of five star skill move, five star weak foot upgrades, depending upon some of these cards. Um, you know, Corona was a late addition yesterday with leaks. That's going to be an insane, insane card. Already five star, five star from his base. C Last getting a card, a center attack in mid El Sharawi, an Adama Treore, of course, the Ronaldo, right? Emre Chan looks great. Tiago Mendes, Brazilian right back, looks great. Arnautovic, center back, like what? They're moving strikers to center backs and center backs to strikers with Ramos being in this team and then Daily Blind. I mean, there's really not not really any bad cards in this team like this team i mean i think is clear of team one of shapeshifters with the way this looks marcelo ramos Werner, the middle tier cards that are getting in here too like the adama like the corona i think these cards are fantastic i'm so excited to see them dropped on the game today because i think this is a really really exciting team and there's a lot of cards in here that people would love to try out um and as long as ea gets some of those skill move uh, weak foot boobs right today then that's going to be uh, huge. It's going to be an insane, insane team today. So this is the squad that we expect. Again, I don't know which ones are going to be in the mini release, uh, but we would expect 11 players in packs today and then three more on Sunday, most likely. Now, the biggest part about today, and we're going to go right into talking about this, and we'll talk about more content today later, but this is a massive part of the game. This is the swap token car design that was just added a few hours ago. Um, I do not believe it's in the game yet. Let me double check because sometimes when they add this stuff in, oh, there it is. There it is. A swap token added. Uh, boom. That's the, that's the car design. Summer swaps. And it has a one inside of it. So maybe that means there's going to be another one of these later on. But we're getting a new set of swap token and swap token rewards to grind for, for objectives, for SBCs, for packs, whatever it's going to be. We're getting another set of tokens and reward system dropping today. And yes, we would expect it to be today now because that quality, that car design is in the game. And of course, that's what the leaks said as well. Let's take a look at this. It is called Summer Swaps 50 Tokens 5-0. That is like double the max number of tokens we have ever had before it starts today on june 23rd sorry june 24th and it goes until july 25th so it's basically an entire month of collecting 50 tokens i mean that just seems outrageous it's going to be forever to collect some of these tokens to get in uh and the rewards are going to have to be insane if i'm going to grind 45 to 50 tokens uh, to try to get some rewards there better be some really, really insane rewards or like a normal set of rewards that we can claim twice during the month. Maybe that's what it's going to be. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But here are some of the leaked rewards included. One of five TOTS e-figs, 96 plus. I mean, that gives you an, an absolutely incredible shot of packing a, a Cristiano, a Messi, a Vinny Jr., a Benzema card like that. Of course, you could also get Immobile of Lahovic, Berardi, Kimmich, Lewandowski. You know, you see this tweet down here being very accurate and very true about the cards that you could be getting uh, in that that player pick. And then of a one of four icon moments, 94 plus. Again, Baresi, you know, cards like that that you could pack from that player pick that would not be as desirable. 
But I think the real big thing with this summer swaps program is going to be, do they make the rewards uh, redeemable like more than once? Because 50 tokens or, or even like 45 tokens to get all the way there for a swaps um, reward is like, that's crazy to get 50 tokens all the way to the end. That's such a grind. Even if it is like a one of, of six or whatever it was, it was a one of five tots e fix 96 plus like that's crazy. But to grind that long to have an opportunity to get a player pick like that, like that's, you know, that's a lot of work and a lot of effort hinging upon one player pick for like 40 tokens. So what I really hope they do today is Let's say that one of five TOTS EFIX 96 plus is actually like 30 tokens or maybe even 25 tokens. So that if you can get something like that, the, the SBC reward when you go to redeem it would actually be repeatable like two times or something like that. And I wonder if that's how it's going to be today because we have not seen any swap rewards that have been um, like repeatable, right? You can only do it one time. When we try to figure out all these equations of what's the best value for the swap to, uh, programs earlier on this year, it's always like, okay, you take the three swap one, you take the five, and you take the seven to get your tokens done, right? Or something like that. Now, if you could do like the, the five swap option like four times with your 20 tokens, that would be pretty cool. So I hope that's the change that is coming with a part of the swaps since it's so big. But you never know, man. We're going to find out today. This is just crazy to have 50 swap tokens to grind over a, basically a month. So like 30 days, 31 days for 50 tokens. That's on average like one to two tokens per day. And EA can't take any days off if they do that. So there's going to be SBCs. There's going to be objectives. I like this tweet here. Can't wait for 45 objective tokens. It felt like so many of the tokens that we had in the last tot swaps were like almost all through objectives, which was, especially for somebody like me who likes the SBC side of the game a lot more, um, a bit unfortunate. And it did, it made me want to grind less the, the gameplay and the objectives to get those tokens done. So hopefully it's not that hard to get the tokens. It'd be a big bummer if there's a lot of those available via objectives. So hopefully they really spread it out. I think they're going to have to though. 50 tokens over a month. Like that's crazy. So that's probably... The, the biggest piece of content today, really just to see what the rewards are going to be, how easy it is to get the tokens and um, yeah, just all of that in, in, involved to see on the rewards, like they seem crazy, right? Yeah, that's just, that is going to be a huge part of content today. Of course, they'll probably give us a free token. They'll probably make three or four of those, um, you know, claimable today via SBCs or objectives, but we won't be able to actually redeem the rewards probably for like three weeks from now. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, we're going to be grinding these objectives for a while before we actually get to redeem those and, and turn them in for rewards. But that's that whole program that's coming today. We'll get a lot of more information and talk about it tomorrow 100%. Now, also today, as I mentioned, we're going to have some shapeshifters to objectives and SBCs. Now, we looked at these earlier on in the week, but these are our objective cards that we expect for today. A center mid position changed Emerson. I'm really excited for this card. A lot of Brazilian hype recently. Uh, you know, you have had the Felipe Anderson. Yesterday, you had the Richarlison, overpriced, but still kind of a cool SBC for a lot of you guys that are Brazilian fans. Premier League striker, pretty solid one there. And then, as we've seen, a lot of Brazilians in this team. Thiago Mendes, Marcelo. Um, and then a flashback, Fernandinho is a potential SBC card that could be, could be coming today as well. But Emerson objective, I'm excited for that. We've also got a center back, Thomas Delaney. Uh, these are predicted stats, not confirmed by any means, but that card looks really, really cracked as well. If he does drop today, that'd be a very nice link, by the way. Uh, Delaney with Acuna, and a lot of people are, are really excited for this Corona. So if you have that, that Sevilla triangle, or even if you have Kunde in there too, some nice links there with those uh, Sevilla cards. So those are two of our objectives that we expect to maybe see today. And then for SBCs, it comes down to these two guys, uh, Guerrero, which this might be the SBC for today, if I'm being honest. Player pick, dual SBC for a right back or a center mid version of Rafael Guerrero. Stats predicted, so we don't exactly know how it would look today, but that would go very nicely with the Emre Chan if he has dropped uh, today and not a part of the mini release for that Guerrero SBC. And then, of course, the end of an era, Fernandinho stats predicted as well. If they would have given 90 pace, that'd be great. EA Sports, thank you very much. But that could be a card that we see today as well. Those are our two potential SBC contents for the new um, or the second week of Shapeshifters starting today. Now, also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, 
There is an SBC today that is re-upping, and it is the 93-plus tots and shapeshifters player pick. Usually on Fridays, we don't have a lot of SBC demand, uh, but today we're going to, right? I mean, this requires 86 and 88 rated squads, and a lot of your high rated fodder is already either extinct or close to being extinct. Um, and I know, I know we're going to have pack supply today, but I, I don't see a lot of this stuff dropping off that much. Like, I'm pretty sure that 86s, uh, they were extinct. I think they might have gotten a price range update, actually. Jamie Vardy is, yeah, these guys were extinct, I do believe. At like 12,000 coins, maybe not 15k. I think we've had some recent price range updates though. Let me double check this. I'm looking on flipping right now. Yeah, we have had some recent price range updates uh, literally today. Literally today, some of these cards got price range updates because now they are going higher than they were before. And are 85s extinct? Uh, 85s are no longer extinct at like 10,000 coins either. So we have had some price range updates on these cards. And, you know, the, to be completely honest, that's probably needed, and we EA Sports, GGs, we needed that. As I'm looking through this price range list, it just shows me a lot of icons. But um, let's go page three. Yeah, we have some golds in here that got updates. Um, page five, all of this stuff. There was a huge, huge batch of price range updates uh, yesterday on Thursday, now that I'm seeing this. So, you know, honestly, that kind of bodes well for fodder in the next couple of weeks. Um, and you know, watching it this weekend, watching it today on Friday, you'll probably see a little bit of a dip, but also you're going to see people going back out and maybe opening a few packs that they have, maybe opening up uh, a couple lightning round packs, whatever it may be. And they're going to go out and they're going to do that 93 plus SBC. They're really going to, and that could cause some of this fodder to have a short dip and then go up even further because people, you know, really enjoyed that SBC when we had it earlier in the week. So that's a really big piece of content today is that SBC being repeatable one more time that's probably going to be one of the most hype parts besides the uh, swaps program dropping today but maybe late night tonight or friday maybe saturday again we're going to start to look at the fodder realm once again for an investment for some potential rises next week um and you know that's kind of how that is and, and fodder is just going to continue to go higher because yes we're going to have supply yes we're going to have packs that are being opened but um, the content as, as we can have seen right now, it's summer mode content time, right? EA is just dropping all the insane SBCs, all the insane packs, uh, and people are going to go and pay through the roof for fodder. Like at, in the last two years in the summer, fodder gets crazy expensive because of all the SBCs they could put out and amount of hype they have that the crazy packs that EA releases and everybody wants to do those, right? So that's why fodder is going to be a great place to continue to trade and invest. Uh, and it's going to be moving today on the game now let's talk market a little bit because with this team coming into packs you might be like nate what is going to happen today to my 99 rated shapeshifter messi when a 99 rated shapeshifter ronaldo drops and you know a ramos striker card and an, a marcelo striker card like what in the world is going to happen to some of the market today i think that some of your top tier cards as messi is still 7.1 million coins but I think some of your more expensive cards that are a part of this team today, examples would be Messi, Hazard, Sun. I think that with the drop of brand new cards, we saw this last week, right? Ultimate Tots cards took a big hit in price um, last week because people were selling those to go try out the brand new shapeshifters. I think people today might be selling some of these shapeshifters to try out the brand new ones, right? I mean, you've got a really, really star-studded team and i think that with marcelo and ramos being in there both of those guys are going to be pretty expensive same thing with ronaldo same thing with timo Werner. i think all those cards are going to be pretty pricey people are going to want to try them out so i think that's going to cause some panic on some of your team one shapeshifter cards um you know hazard yes you're like okay nate he does link to marcelo yes he does and he does have five star skills but let's say if you have a hazard and you're trying him out i mean you might want to sell this guy today to try to afford a ramos or a Werner. You know, or an Adama, or or like the Marcelo, you know. So that's the kind of thing I'd be a little bit worried about today. On the lower tier aspect, yeah, there's a couple cards that could rise as well. I think a lot of people are looking at Spinazzola uh, for a rise today. He was 250, now he's 275, so he started to rise up a little bit. But with the Syria links, again, like we mentioned, we've got an El Sharawi in this team. We had the Kalini SBC for End of an Era that is so hype. Um, and we've had a lot of Italian links do really well. Insigne, right, was last week as well. We've had a lot of Syria and Italian links do really well recently. And I think this card has potential to rise out of packs, although there are some new midfielders coming in like Corona, 
like Blind, who's maybe not that hype, but you know, even a Marcelo and a Ramos, those are technically midfield players, even though their base position is striker that could kind of take away from some of the hype on the Spinozola, but I still think he is one that could rise out of packs a little bit. Uh, I think a guy like Kalulu could rise out of packs. We have a couple of good center backs that are in here. Arnautovic, in my opinion, with these stats, does not really compete with uh, Kalulu that much. You've got an Emre Chan that looks really good, and a, and a Kieran Tierney looks really good as well. But I think Kalulu might still have a rise out of packs because he's pretty rare. He's got that perfect link to tail, and he is a French center back anyway. Um, you know, other cards in here, maybe a Tall has a slight rise. Maybe a Bombing has a slight rise with the... Um, Adama that's dropping today if that Adama card is really hype. And again, I'll talk about it a little bit more. I still think Jack Grealish has potential to rise. I know there's a lot of attackers that are coming in, like El Sharawi, like the center forward Adama, and stuff like that. Uh, but I think this Grealish card, since it is Jack Grealish and uh, Manchester City links, again, hasn't had many cards this year in FIFA. People loved his foot birthday card. This one's 400k. If he drops back down there again today, if especially Fernandinho comes out as a really good value SBC, that could impact this card and could see him rise even more. So keep an eye on a card like that. Keep an eye on a card like Robertson going out of packs. But if Fernandinho is OP, might drop this card. Um, and then, you know, you could buy in some of that panic selling. So, so I think the shapeshifters is going to be a mixed bag. And it's same thing for the rest of the market. I know some of you guys are still like, Nate, what about my Ultimate Tots cards? Like, what about my Benzema? What about my Leao and, and my Teo and my Cancelo? Who's, some prices are down a bit. Some prices are up a bit. You know, it's, it's going to be a mixed bag. Again, your guys like Vinny, people might sell a Vinny today to go try out a Ramos or a Marcelo. Of course, you could link Vinny uh, and Marcelo together too. But I just think that with the elite tier part of the game, even some of your icons are probably going to drop off today like they did last week just because people are going to have to sell cards to go and buy the shapeshifters from Team 2. I don't really see a way where EA make these cheap today. Now, I will say this is the one-year anniversary, and it sounds crazy to say this, but this is like the one year anniversary weekend of preview packs for the first time ever being in FIFA. Yes, you heard that correctly. Last year, it was Summer Stars right before the Euros and EA dropped 100k preview packs lightning rounds one hour before the second team of Summer Stars dropped in packs. So team one of Summer Stars got supplied like crazy. They got absolutely destroyed. And then the same thing with the team two started off really, really cheap. It was a huge market crash day. It was totally like out of the blue, unexpected. Do I expect that today? I don't. But again, it's just another reminder that it has been a long time since we've had preview packs. I mean, I would be surprised if they were done with them for the year, but it's been so long since we've had them. Um, I, I don't know. I just need to say that because it, I guess it's something that we have to consider today because EA do like to repeat themselves. EA do like to work on a cycle sometimes. And literally one year ago, this exact same weekend was when all that madness went down with Summer Stars and the preview packs and stuff like that. So that's just kind of one thing to be a little bit cognizant of. But again, like I said, I don't really think there's a huge amount of uh, potential drop there or just a huge potential possibility of, of that stuff being dropped on the game today so that's kind of what i think for uh content today on friday it's going to be a really hype day because there's just a lot of moving parts parts like i mentioned right you've got the swaps program coming out today you've got really good leaks really really good cards coming out in packs uh and the leaks being for the card stats and for the sbcs and objectives that are still yet to come so it's going to be a very hype friday in this game and uh i just don't know how ea are going to supply the cards today whether it's preview packs there's not a ton of saved up packs. They're, of course, going to be lightning rounds, but I think it might be similar to last week where some of these brand new shapeshifters today start off pretty expensive um, in, in value and then kind of slowly drop down into the evening. Then you'll have some fluctuations there on and thereafter. But it's going to be interesting to watch these cards react to the market today and see what people do um, and how hyped people are to go and grab those brand new shapeshifter items really quick just to end the video just to talk about the, um, the Richarlison just a bit uh you know I wish EA would have given him the five-star skills that's what everybody's biggest disappointment with him is but it is a Richarlison card people love this dude in FIFA for his five-star weak foot he is a really good striker in the game and people loved his showdown card earlier on in the year that was 89 rated this one with a sizable upgrade over that end game for sure um you know Lean body type, going to feel really good in the game. I think it's the price and the lack of the skill move upgrade that are putting people off on this retrialism. But craftable if you need to. 
out for two weeks, plenty of time to get them done. Uh, also, if you want to do any 81 plus or 75 times five upgrades, feel free to be stacking those today on Friday. It should be a pretty good day. I'm hoping to get some 81 plus player picks built up so that we can at least give ourselves a shot at packing something sick today on the game for shapeshifters team two so if you're excited for team two hit the thumbs up on the video and of course comment down below if you have any questions or any thoughts about how it might go down today and subscribe to the channel if you're new we'll be streaming today at 6 p.m content check the link down below in the description we'll be reacting to all this and on the game opening packs having fun watching the game content and the market i will see you there twitch.tv slash the foot accountant it's been nate the foot accountant i will see you guys later peace